Welcome back fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Railway Empire, the German DLC. We're calling it the Kaiser's Reichsbahn or heading that direction. Playing it with my friend IKB. Say hi to everyone IKB. Hi everyone. He is a railway expert and we will be playing in conjunction with his advice and his technical um expertise in answering questions so if you have a question please post it in um uh, we'll see if we want this um in the comments below or if you're on chat now you can of course do it okay um mine okay mm. No, we don't want to spend the money on that right now. I don't think there's a great profit in it at the moment. Now, livestock near Danzig. That's a lot more. And way out in Danzig. No, we don't need something way out in Danzig that we're not going to touch for a long time. Okay, let's look at our... Okay, you're going to that track. Going to that track. Just looking to see if we can clear up some. Okay, you're going through, so yeah, alright. Alright. Uh, Gamer, I think I've spotted the bottleneck just south of um just south of Frankfurt. I think it's all trying to put it all through just over one set of points. Right. Hanover grows good, but that's not where we're focusing on. Yeah, I, I see what you're meaning here. Um, trying to have through traffic come through these two here, okay, and um, yeah, traffic just coming and stopping here to these two. Um, I think that may work. It might be worth it to think about um, quadruple tracking the um, track through Hess, or the, sort of the entire province almost, the sort of main spine. Now, to me, as an outsider, that seems. Um, bit overkill now this is I think our current main problem right in here and, and and doing what you're saying because I don't think if we quadruple track we can have them interconnect here now without tearing everything up and starting over I just not sure well Do we do something like... Bridges can only be two tracks wide. No, we don't want to do that. But then we could come into here. Now, unfortunately, I didn't stub this out like I should have when I built that. Okay, let's let this well. What's your path? Oh, you're waiting for that, and you're waiting for this. 
Um, what's your? Oh, you're on a random breakdown. That's why we're waiting for you. Okay. Okay. Clear that. Clear that. Okay. Hold that. Let's see if we can drop temporarily a. No. There we go. No, it's not letting us do that. Why isn't it? Oh, it's they're paired together. Okay. Um oh, that's screwing everything up. There we go. Well, let's see if we can go from the other direction. Too tight of a turn, is it? Okay. Ooh, uh. We need them interconnected here. Or does this doesn't work? I think we're going to give up on the bypass idea. Right. Um, might be worth, at least worth doing it on the, the northern, northern end of Frankfurt. Yeah. Um, I think we might be able to do that. Oh, come on, come on. Oh. No, I didn't mean to do that. I hit the wrong button. There we are. Yeah, something isn't working right with that. And now I probably mess this up. I need to go back to the save. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go back to save and redo all that work. Okay, um... That's why we have them. Load the save game. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to not add more track or more trains right here, right now, but I will. Um, see, now this, oh, pause. This one we did stub out in both of these directions. So what we can do here is. Do that. There we go. Now. And from here to here. here to here mm, come down so when I do this right it works It's the doing it right that's the complicated bit. Right, yeah. No, I... Now, 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 let's see here. Where's the... Okay, there's our last crossover. Um... Okay, so now it's going two ways. Um... And part of the reason I'm having it alternating back and forth is that if I want to peel off a section and you know go to here, it can it can get into the inner side of the tracks and still work its way through 
around to the warehouse here. Um, you know, I think what we can do here is let's pull out. Okay. If we were to come here. Okay, that's not a doubling all the way into there, but it's another bypass of this, well, yeah, this corner thing here. So let's do that. That's, wow, that's expensive. But it's the bridging that makes it so, okay. Um, but we won't have the bridging doubled, fortunately, the expense, as you can see there. So there we go. That's sort of what we're doing, what we wanted to do. Let's see, are the signals all flowing right? Okay, good. So that should help. That should help a lot. We still have potential congestion right in here, but... Oh. Did I not go back to the right save? No, I don't think we did. No, I don't think I did. Sorry, I'm going to have to redo this. Okay, we're going to do that. I'm going to load... Because I know that last episode I got you to connect up those tracks at the bottom of Frankfurt. Right, yeah. There we are. I think we got the wrong one. I'm pretty sure that's the wrong one. This, I think this is the right one, hopefully. Yes. Okay, this is looking right, isn't it? Yeah, because, yeah, we're, yeah, right here, yeah, absolutely. Okay, this is the right one. Okay, so we can do this over again, sorry. Let's come. No, not over that. Oh, no. What aren't you liking about all of this? There we go. That is why it is best to stub out the rails. And see, you can do those crossing points. And then come up here. And see, it didn't need to finish them until, you know, the, the opposite section until we actually needed them, but since that is not a problem. go well, let's make sure we have yeah that's all done okay there we go put in a couple of more signals just to make sure that things are flowing reasonably well okay now back to here Okay, so we're going to come from somewhere in here, break off, or get, get out a ways away from that, uh, not that harsh of a turn.
There we go. And let's look out. Yep. Okay, that looks like it's all going to flow. Okay, well, now that we have that, we still have the potential problems, just generally speaking, overly. But we're going to come from here back. We have to redo this warehouse. Focus on that as primary. Now, from here to um, here, focus primarily on logs. And, well, now we have We want to make sure though that's probably the only thing you're gonna move is pigs. Um Well let's hope that by doing this we can And we want to focus on sausages. Okay, let's let this go a little bit. Um, uh, no. No, not out of Danzig. We currently have a chief engineer. I forget. Um, yes, we do, and we have a very good one, so we're going to leave that. We're not going to jump ship. Now, which way are you going? Okay, you're going around that way, so you're you're waiting for this, and... Oh, well, let's put a couple of supply towers. We did build one, but I forgot to replace it when we came back. And, um, yeah. Oh, and we need to, oh, man, I forgot. Tell it not to go there until it, until you're ready. Um, here. And here. And we're going to get rid of this because that could cause a traffic problem. as we can get it to there. There we go, try to keep this. Oh, now this thinks it's on the wrong track. Oh. They're starting to use our four tracks up here, which is good. They're starting to use this bypass.
Okay, we're going to add a few more signals. Yeah, we need one here. So yeah, don't go in there unless it's clear. Oh, we can get our... Nitroglycerin and um, so we had an inventor. Um, hundred, yeah, ninety points. So expensive, but we'll take that. Now let's see here. What do these people need? Ah. Uh, Okay, beer, sauerkraut. Well, we have sauerkraut in production here. Um, it needs more vegetables. Okay, so that's... We have them here. Um, Looks like we got plenty of them, so why aren't they moving fast enough? Don't know. Um, focus heavily on that. When was nitroglycerin made? Okay, well, um, I don't know the exact date, but... Um, uh, nitroglycerin was around, I think, before the American Civil War, so that's 1860 is when it starts. But the sort of interesting bit is nitroglycerin um, is highly unstable, as you may um, know. Um, basically, dripping it makes it explode. So... Um, they had it, they had been using it around for a while and then i think it's in the 1860s or so a guy by the name of alfred nobel um i think he's swedish um or norwegian but swedish norwegian something like that comes up with the idea of mixing um nitroglycerin in with something that to stabilize it particularly wood um, chips, sawdust type things, packing it, and they create um, dynamite. Well, he has a um, crisis of conscience that this is such a weapon now. So he comes up with the Nobel P Peace Prize because they make so much money off of dynamite. Um, and so that's a little sort of an aside about nitroglycerin because nitro dynamite is I think, well, I think you can still get it, but I don't know how much. It's, at least in most mining and most industrial things, dynamite is no longer used. It sweats if it gets warm or just over time, and the little beads of um, nitroglycerin that comes out can explode and then explode the dynamite. Um, they're using much more like plastic type explosives um, done now. But that's sort of a little bit. So it's it's right around that pe this period that, that nitroglycerin is invented and used, and it use and it works very well, makes some massive amounts of money. Okay. Um, I've just checked, and uh, nitroglycerin was first synthesized in 1847. 1847. Okay, so I wasn't very far off with the 1850s thing, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I know I know that was around this time. It it's an incredibly, um, to my understanding, it is the first high explosives um, to be developed. You don't want to play with high explosives. Just trust me on this. I've never played with high explosives. Mm -hmm. and I'm not talking about you know a plastic explosives or something that's already been made. But you don't want to go around fiddling around making it. I've had friends. One of them blew a hole in, in a wall that, he, well, he was in the room too and had burns um, from 
trying to create high explosives. I like low explosives or just standard explosive, whatever. That would be things like black, what in America we call black powder um, uh, or a gunpowder type of thing that is, you know, like in, um, well, we normally call it in America. I know it's a little bit different in Europe. Smokeless powder, it's obviously has smoke in it, but for, you know, with, you know, firing guns and that kind of stuff. Because I've definitely toyed around with cannons and, um, uh, you know, muskets and that kind of thing with lots and lots of black powder and carried more than a pound of it on me, just happily and fine. Um, so, yeah, you know, standard sort of black powder explosive. But by the time you jump to high explosive, it becomes a whole nother world. So, yeah, um, you don't want to like, oh, I got this you know, book, I'm not even going to mention the name that's out there, Yeah, um, you know, that has recipes for things, and I want to make some of this stuff just for the fun of it. No, don't, if you're talking about high explosives. If you're just going to ground up some saltpeter and whatever and try to make black powder, fine. I mean, not that you won't blow your fingers off or something. You, you probably won't unless it's, actually it won't unless it's contained in a, um, a tight, environment meaning if you just pour some out on your you know black powder on your hands and light it on fire oh you're going to burn your hand quite potentially and you know have problems i'm not saying it's safe to do but it doesn't blow apart unless you put it in like a firecracker and then put your hand around it and then it'll blow your hand apart so yeah um you know don't do this hey jp yeah well see now you're playing around with um stabilized stuff like plastic explosives and that's a i want to specify because um shall we i uh, for various reasons but you know there's a quote-unquote cookbook out there um and stuff then i've had friends who just wanted to build you know go ahead and make it and then just you know blow up something out in the desert or or whatever not really doing real malicious harm but um wanting to you know make some high explosives of one format or another and yeah he didn't like going out in the sun after that i mean he was a pale skinned european anyways but um after blowing himself up i mean he didn't lose any um, body parts but there was um multi-degree burns on his face and things and it wasn't a whole lot but supposedly blew a hole in his wall and so um I only explosive use is fireworks yeah well see fireworks if you again like a firecracker and it blows up Again, don't do this, but if you put it in your hand and light it on fire, it blows up and you're mostly fine. You put it in your hand and close your hand around it and it blows up, it blows off your hand. It's a compression thing. And so um, when you have an explosion, um, it's going to take the path of least resistance. So like in a firearm, the path of least resistance is down the barrel. So it's, it's directed. Um, so if you normally shall we say if you say put a this is like a, a bs stuff in in the movies if you put a bullet in in a fire and it heats up enough it will explode but it's probably more likely to rupture the case than it is to send that bullet projectile anywhere in a um significantly dangerous i'm not saying it isn't going to break your skin or isn't going to hurt you but it's not going to be like it's coming out of a gun because it doesn't have that pressure. It just sort of the, the case ruptures. And um, and that's where, and even that, the shrapnel effect, you know, you, you, the case may be moving in a direction depending on, on how it ruptures and whatnot. But it's probably not moving, again, in a deadly um, amount of velocity. So... You know, you don't want to you don't want to do this, but it's not like it in the movies the way they they throw a few bullets in the fire and then it, and it goes off and the bullets are flying everywhere and people are, are hurt. No, that doesn't really happen. So it, it's all about compression. Um, and JP can correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand that if you light plastic explosives on fire, fire and it's just outside, it just sort of burns. But if it's in a compressed environment, again, it will blow up. And so it needs a, um, a detonator, um, which is a, you know, making it really go off 
to, to have it go. Whenever you do something stupid, just remember that the Roman Emperor Caligula waged war on Poseidon. He had his armies march to the beach and hold them, um, start stabbing the water, but still didn't play with bombs and try to making anything dangerous. Yeah. Well, that's a little bit of a myth, I would say, with Caligula. Um, Gaius, Caligula just means little boots from when he was a child, but wanted to invade um, Britain. Basically, one or more of the legions refused. So, various legends, and we, I don't, I can't say we know what what the real motives and what really happened. He definitely had his soldiers sort of um, like collect seashells and whatnot. Whether it was more of a punishment for the soldiers who refused to to go and invade, or whether um, it was really trying to have a war on Poseidon. Uh, he was definitely to some degree mad, Caligula, but I don't know if he was that mad. And I think it was more, shall we say, metaphorical. Yeah, C4 just burns. It needs a detonator for those who don't know. I, yeah, he, he's EOD. Yeah, I have heard a story, some going back, I read, not just heard, but read a story going back to Vietnam when um, on one of the bases there that was under attack um one of the you know um munitions bunker or whatever got caught on fire and had they opened the doors and let it burn the plastic explosive would have burned but because it got hot enough inside with the fire um it blew up and blew the the whole bunker up from the inside up and caused sort of mass casualty thing in vietnam at one point so um it's a, I think, a heat and type of situation that allowed that to happen, and not just the 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 temperature of regular burning fire, but it turned it into some sort of superheated furnace thing and blew it up. At least that's what I remember reading. Yeah, I probably read that twenty plus years ago. A couple of weeks back, I put bullets out of his clip and. Time to pen and put them in, and suddenly the bullets started to get hot from the fire, and the pan was, uh, yeah. So that's just some of the, the silly movie things. And again, unless you're somebody like JP, who who truly has been trained, um, don't go around and playing with it. Um, I'm not advocating that at all. Okay, back to Kessel. They need their beer. We're going to get them more um, uh, vegetables to make more sauerkraut. They got their leather. They need their later hosen. Um, fruit they've got. Fruit brandy. I don't know if we can get them. And um, cheese. But um, again, but they, okay, we got that coming in. Beer, 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 beer. Where's beer? Where's. Not there, excuse me. Pretzels. Close. Okay, we have that. Let's um, add another train just because we're overdoing this because we're pushing to Kessel. Essen. Close. Focus on it. When you come back, you can come back through here. Um, no, down here. We want that after that. And we don't want to pick. Oh, no, you can pick up because not. Yeah, you can come back through there. And we'll, want, we'll move this one fast. Yeah. Okay, cheese. Well, we can see about getting some cheese for there, too. So let's set up another one of these. Um, to there. Clone. Focus on cheese. And you can stop here and here on your way back. Oh, whoa, 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 let's go, no, 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 uh, I want to, no, cancel here, something got, no, okay, um, no, I'm just, yeah, there we go, that's it, we want you to come back that way, and we will put that, always be safe, okay, Col Colbert's has our beer, so now that we have this somewhat bypass, we're going to come up to here. It doesn't well. Maybe we should make a bypass even. Well, not not just yet. We'll make a bypass for the bypass. Well, yeah. Well, but bypass Frankfurt entirely. 
that might be a good idea. Okay, we're going to put this on hold here. And we're going to... Um... Let me see, could you peel off your bypass yeah, from well, the we're safe of Frankfurt? Take it round the, we're gonna the western come edge? Here, I think... Try to come out. Okay, okay. As long as we're outside of that red circle, let's trash that. I want to start this over again. Don't have to quite clear it by as much as I thought we were going to have to. There we go. I think that will do it. There we are. Okay, we're bypassing the bypass. Okay, that's good enough. That stop up there. Um, don't get on here unless it's clear. Don't go that way unless it's clear there. Uh, we're gonna kill this one just because we don't want a train stopping there. We either want them to stop back here or go all the way through. Okay, so um, no, we're going back to here. Um, let's trash both of these and just start this all over again. Yeah, there we, yeah, it's going to bypass the bypass. And it will just bypass all of that. And we're going to use one of these. Let's see if we can grab the speedy stoker there. And, oh, we want to come back here. We want to focus on our beer. Okay, so that will get us beer coming here. It will get us cheese. Hopefully that will, these other ones will figure out and use the bypass. I'm pretty sure it will. And Okay, well. Yeah. Yes, I know. Beer and cheese. Beer and cheese, yes. Now these guys, they need... Okay, they've got some wheat coming in. That's good from here, obviously. Okay, we're a bit... Yeah, okay, they're already starting to use these. Good. Now, individual tracks. 51, 62, 69, and 91. Okay. So at least we're nothing going over 100% going through there. I'm going to throw, I know it's not much of an issue, but let's just make sure that things coming down this way aren't holding that up. Looks like we're ticking up a little bit, but I don't know if we're going to make it. We got over a year still. Okay, well, we can see about putting more trains coming in from up here just as passengers, which may mean more business.
Okay, Kessel's growing, that's good. Frankfurt's growing, but Worms really isn't. Now, don't remember, okay, they want almost five million to open up this one in bribes. So that's probably a bit too much to, obviously, that's just four million and that's 900,000. So that we could afford. So we're getting close to that. Just trying to think of here. If we could connect to this city, it would help worms out, but I think we're gonna just connect Sarbuck and that. Well, I think I already connected, but we'll add a train. Um, now they produce the same stuff. So just mostly gonna be passengers. And mail. I'm sure that we could have built for the future and built this obviously better, but with what was existing here, this is actually flowing pretty well. Say that, and then we have all this stopped up here. Okay, well, he's having a and he's having problems. Okay, well, um. Maintenance, okay, they've got maintenance shed. These are just all random maintenance, I guess. Problems needed. Oh, come on, there we go. There we go. Okay, so. Telling me we could use maybe another signal here. Track gangs, yes, we'll take that. If we can win the auction for a reasonable amount of money. International Exposition in Paris has ended, all right. Missing equipment, where do you go that we don't have a supply tower? Okay, this is such a short distance, that's why we didn't do it. Okay, we are trying to push for that, but we also want to produce clothing as well, which we produced almost 20 loads. And that is over here. Okay, so that looks like it's working on its path. Getting cotton or whatever from the, what is this? Um, sheep's wool, okay. What I think, though, we should see about is, well, growth, growth, growth is sort of the key. Let's, only one city, but we got more cotton and other resources open up. So we might as well see about taking this now. Okay, so let's bribe them to open this up. Let's come over here and see if we can use train station. Five the city fathers of Oldenburg. 
What was that at all? What was that? Fly up the city fathers of Oldenburg. Yes. We're going to bribe them. The city fathers, the nobles, the... the um, you know what? Probably, which maybe you would count as the city fathers, but probably one of the groups you really would have to really bribe would be the guild masters because they controlled so much of the local production that they would be potentially put out of business by importation of things, cheaper goods. That would be just my guess. I don't know if anybody has. Yes, you have to. You probably have to bribe them and also bribe all of the um, stagecoach stagecoach companies. They'd yeah. be terrified that you'd put them out of business. Um. Will the Winter War be continued Sunday? It has been keeping the Soviets at the gates. Um, yeah. Um, the Winter War. Um, you're talking with the uh, Order of Battle. That is on hold. Um, that is mostly a... Um, well, it's sort of commissioned um, by... Um, Slytherine. So we were going to be doing that, but um, a change was made. I don't want to go much beyond that. So um, I don't know when I will continue the Winter War, whether I will do my own version of it. Um, I mean, I do have the save, but it's more for the Slytherine channel. So we're going to connect these guys well, just next to that. Okay, so that gets us another city. We'll set this up here. Um, add a fast locomotive. We'll put on a supply tower even before IKB tells me to. <laughs> I mean, that's his job, but I can remember sometimes myself. Okay, now we have... Uh, what is this? This is... Uh, I'll close this. Um, uh, sugar beets, wood, of course, milk, more wool. Um... Just trying to think where do we hmm. Yeah, let's just do this for now. We can expand this. whenever we like. But that will get us a considerable amount of trade through there. Oh damn, what don't you like about that? Oh, you don't like something in here? Huh? Well, maybe it'll work. Okay, there you go. This needed to be done more gently. Oh! Ouch. Nope. We'll get a, we'll get money back for that. Yeah. I don't think the whole cost out was not started at the right point that way. There, that's why there was the problem. There we go. Now, what we also have to do here is um, signal, directional signals, go in that direction, oh, I put that on the wrong one, wrong side. There we go. 
Well, I know we sort of are going into different countries because this is all back before all the German states actually united into Germany. Absolutely. So this is back when Prussia and Hesse and Hanover were all, for all intents and purposes, independent nations. Well, yeah, no, they, it gets, and we often, you know, look at the map and, and what, one thing I love about English is that it, it has such a nuanced language. The idea that there is a German nation may, may already be um, a thing that that's commonly thought of. Um, if you go back long enough before that, it's looked at more as the Holy Roman Empire, and there isn't. There may be Germanic peoples, but they're not. They don't have a sense of nationalism. Nationalism, as expressed in the modern sense, really sort of comes out of the French Revolution. So that's you know 1789. Um, you know early part of the 19th century. Um, and obviously it isn't like people were going along in one day, um, didn't have the thought, and then did have the thought. So it was obviously brewing in there. But, you know, for a lot of people, it really didn't matter. And they just didn't have this consciousness. who the What language the elite spoke. Um, but my understanding is, is that the Austrian elites spoke French because they thought... German was such a crude language. So when they spoke to their servants, they spoke in German. And when they spoke to each other, they spoke in French. And I'm talking about German Austrian elites, not French Austrian or French people imposed on or incomers um, on it. It's their own local elites. With that going on, there's this long tradition that the elites are sort of this non-nationalistic group that just ends up ruling different parts of the world. You know, the Austrian are sort of the, well, the Habsburg Empire, shall we say, is sort of the the highest level of this. And it's a multicultural empire in which the elites are not just German peoples, but they're, whether they're Spanish or Italians or whatever, they're all this sort of movable elites. We start growing up with this, well, why have foreigners ru rule you? And so... The German nas nation is, is sort of set up. That is distinct from the German country. See, the, the idea of a country versus a state, as um, IKB was just saying. So you have Prussia and Austria and Hanover and Hesse and um, Bavaria and many other, you know, sort of these... To some degree, these are obviously way oversimplified because they were independent little towns and all kinds of stuff. But you have this going on already, and they're the states, and then you have this forming sense of nationhood. Now, at some stage, at some level, eventually there's going to be an Austrian nation. Um, there, because prior to... Um, the formation of the quote-unquote German Empire. Um, the Austrian Germans were just as much integrated into Germany as or, or the German peoples as the Prussians were because they owned little principalities and little bits and pieces all over the region. And so they were as culturally as connected as they were. But if they're isolated enough long enough, they will form their own nationhood identity as, say, I don't know, Australians are formed their own national identity as distinct from being English or whatever. So um, now if the EU continues to integrate, that may go away, but that's another issue. So today, as we speak, I would say that there is a German nation that has two states, one, the Federal Republic of Germany, and two, what is it, the Austrian Republic or whatever. Um, for much of my life, there were three because there was also, um, you know, well, you had West, the Federal Republic, and then you had the, the Deutsches Demokratische Republic or East Germany as um, different states. So that's a very interesting way and something that he, I would say, and I don't want, and I know this is a very, especially watching later on YouTube, a very international audience. And I don't, when I'm 
talking about this in English, uh, trust me, a lot of Americans don't understand um, the idea of the difference between a nation and a state and how it may, because particularly in America, we sort of use states as a term for provinces um, in a way um, here. So that is, the distinction is somewhat lost on some Americans. So back to here. Okay, we got our signals um, running. We have supply towers. We got one there. We will stick one here. Okay, now we want. Now I don't know if we need the. We definitely want that. Can we add? Yes. Those. Oh, well, that's fine. Your business prospers magnificently, and the connected state regions as well. The strength of German states is shown in their community. The fact that the noble princes and politicians are not able to unite Germany in peace and freedom should not hinder us in doing our bit. What are you going on about? Peace and freedom? <laughs> yes, yes, it's always easy to criticize, but art is difficult. Peace and freedom are luxuries we cannot always afford. See what I mean? Where is this supposed to go? Interesting. That's an interesting little byplay there that I think has some significance. I'm not particularly sure exactly. Okay, so we've secured six areas here. So that's triggered that. We still got to produce more cloth. And we're, well, we've gone up to 134, so we've got at least 10 more thousand, but that took a couple of months, so I am still a bit worried at locomotive. Okay, that will get Oldenburg more flowing. Um... Let's also do a Oldenburg to Hanover. They should be getting wheat in from, okay, here, let's it's clear um, close this I'm actually gonna I think I'm gonna expand this yeah which means oh well temporarily we're gonna drop a supply tower so we can just oh, no. bulldozer bulldozer We gotta redo all that. Can we do that in this tight bit of... Yeah. Right there. There we are. And we're going to buy that back. There we 
go. Now, we're going to give that to here. And we're going to specify. Okay, it's on the other track. Good. And we'll give it Tyson 10 wheeler. And let's also. Ooh, yes. Here we go. Um. Oh, no, cancel. That didn't quite take right. That doesn't look good. It worked, but... Trying to make this long enough that we don't get too many traffic jams and stuff stuck on it. Okay. Don't come into this unless it's clear. Don't go onto that unless it's clear. And... No, I don't want that jammed up. Okay. Hopefully that will flow well. And let's also, since we're doing this, let's add from there. To Brunswick and locomotive. Okay, significantly expanded and hopefully gonna We're going to see after that little conversation we just had. Does this turn in some way sort of militaristic? Well, I wonder. Because peace and freedom or... Don't have time for peace or freedom. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I've intentionally maybe, not read up on this. Bi what? Maybe Bismarck is going to do his whole... um blood and iron thing yes that's what i'm wondering there ikb i specifically haven't read um on this so that we explore this together okay let's see where is this um uh, we don't well we have enough money for it but we got prussia now or east prussia actually but <laughs> Milk, need some more cheese. Oh, they could use well, gingerbread, but they could also use sugar beets. Okay, well, we've got a load of sugar beets, haven't we? Yeah, we got them out there. Um, look, we also have some maybe. Well, I don't know if we, even if we have them down here, we want to try to move them this direction. So let's come up to here. Let's grab another sugar warehouse seven to. OK, 
Castle, Warehouse 7, focus on sugar beets, so you need more. Um, yeah, let's make sure we use that track if we can. Yeah. And we'll do a Tyson 10 wheeler. Oh, and let's, on the way back, stop at Hanover. And here and here in the Oldenburg. Don't pick anything up at the last stop because we want you to run empty to so you can fill up. So might as well, if we're going to be on the track, might as well carry some other people and such. Okay, we're going to not end the stream, but we're going to end this episode here. I want to thank you all so much. Thanks for liking the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And like I said earlier, if you got questions, suggestions, tips, uh, comments, please post them below. We'll get to them very soon. Thanks so much. See you next time for more historical gaming.